sports. A new report is sending shockwaves through the National Women's Soccer League tonight. The report found emotional abuse and sexual misconduct were systemic in the league, including at Racing Louisville FC. WLKY's Drew Gardner is live at Lynn Family Stadium tonight with the new details the report is revealing about former head coach Christy Holly's firing. Drew, tell us more. That's right, Vicki. Holly is one of three coaches who were looked at very closely as part of this investigation. It details disturbing sexual abuse claims made by one former racing player. Details that ultimately led to Holly's immediate termination. We should warn you, some of the details you're about to hear are graphic. More than a year after former head coach Christy Holly's firing, we're finally learning what caused Racing Louisville to sever ties. Former U.S. Attorney General Sally Yates conducted an independent investigation into allegations of abusive behavior and sexual misconduct within the National Women's Soccer League. Those findings were released Monday in a 300-page report. According to the document, players at Racing Louisville reported verbal abuse and manipulative behavior under Holly's leadership. But it was former player Aaron Simon who first blew the whistle on Holly in July of 2021. Simon told investigators it started with harmless jokes and quickly escalated. Simon recounts one instance in the lead up to her joining the team where Holly invited her to watch game film. According to Simon, Holly instead showed her pornography, touched her, and told her he wanted to have a three some with her and another former player. Simon says she tried to leave, but Holly began masturbating in front of her. He grabbed her wrist and forced her to touch his genitals. Once Simon officially joined the team, she says the behavior didn't stop. The report details how in another one-on-one -on -one film session in April of 2021, Simon recalled vividly Holly telling her that he was going to touch her for every pass she missed. And according to the report, he did, repeatedly pushing his hands under her pants to touch her genitals and under her bra to touch her breasts. Shortly after that session, Simon told Holly it had to stop. And that's when she said Holly's behavior changed. The report saying Holly targeted her and other players began to notice. Holly tore her apart in front of others saying, quote, he made an example of me in front of the whole team. Holly was eventually terminated in August of 2021. When asked at the time if it was because of something illegal Holly had done, the organization wouldn't say. That's a, a subjective viewpoint, if you like, um, depending on who's asking and, and different people. So I'd, I'll plead the fifth. I'll take the attorney line on that. The league released a statement saying in part the findings and recommendations from both reports will be critical to informing and implementing systemic reform and ensuring the NWSL is a league where players are supported on and off the pitch with safe and professional environments to train and compete. Now, this is the not not the first time that Holly is facing these types of allegations. The report details Holly was terminated from Sky Blue FC for very similar claims, but that information was not shared with the folks here at Louisville Racing FC or the league. Now, the report also details how there were no written anti-harassment or anti-fraternization policies on the books at the time of this alleged abuse. Now, we reached out to Racing Louisville FC for a comment, but they did not respond to our or multiple requests for comment. Meanwhile, fans are reacting to this really shocking news tonight in this report. The Lavender Legion is one of the team's biggest support groups. Its president called the accusations shocking and disgusting. She says they feel like they too were manipulated by Holly and are now calling for accountability. Whoever knew about this, I don't care who they are, whoever knew about this before during the hiring process, after the hiring process, they need to be held accountable. Um, and you know, it's it's difficult for me to say that out loud because a lot of people involved are people that I have closely worked with as a supporter and as supporter group leadership. Now, Aaron Simon, along with other two other players, released this statement tonight saying in part, owners who have driven a culture of disrespect who are complicit in ab abusing their own players have no place in this league and should be removed from governance immediately. Now you can read their full statements and view the entire report right now on our website and our free mobile app. Reporting live at Lynn Family Stadium tonight, Drew Gardner, WLKY News. Thank you, Drew.